So now I have few sprites, I have few objects, I have couple of rooms but when I load the game my splash screen room should be first so I'm going to drag this and drop it on the top so that when I click run my splash screen shows first. This is how my splash screen is going to be. Now I'm going to add two buttons here, Start and Instructions. So I'm going to go to the Start object and I'm going to add an event and I'm going to add a mouse event and I'm going to select Left Pressed. What happens if I click on the Start button? So I'm going to go to Main 1 tab and I'm going to Rooms and I'm going to select the next room that's the second button up here I'm going to drag this and drop it in actions and then press OK and same thing I'm going to do with OBJ instructions I'm going to double click on it I'm going to add an event and if I mouse left press I should see some instructions and we would find instructions I think it's in the main 2 tab yeah go to main 2 tab and there's info and you can drag and drop this info display message and type in your instructions click on the ball to catch it and press ok and I'm going to press ok again so now that I have my objects ready for the start and instructions, I'm going to go to my splash screen and I'm going to go to objects. I'm going to click on this gray area and select my object start and I'm going to click here so that I can see my start button. I'm going to do this again for my object instructions and I'm going to click on instructions and I'm going to click on the green check and click run and now when I click start it should go to my start button here now if I click run again and if I click on instructions it shows my instructions click on the ball to catch it so in this lesson you learned how to create a splash screen and you learned how to create the yellow ball as static and you created two buttons start to start the game and instructions to see the instructions for the game.